right, so right now I just pulled into the Conroe Goodwill parking lot. Yeah, I'm excited. I know I've been talking a lot about taking y'all shopping with me, and really when I started this YouTube, that was my intention of doing quite a bit of that. This coronavirus changed my mind for me, <laughs> but uh, I'm feeling a lot more comfortable about it. I got my really cool mask that my girlfriend Cher made me. Thank you, Cher. And uh, see if we can find any good things. I've been hearing some good stories, uh, good finds being found, and I hope that's the case for us. So let's go see. Okay, so I had to come off to the side because there, this place is really, really crazy. But I just did the comps for these. These are vintage Ardco. And that company is out of Dallas. These are super cute. Um, mug set. You have the sugar bowl as well as the milk. And then you have this with the lid. This whole set is adorable, absolutely adorable. And honestly, the only thing that I can see wrong with that is, see if I can get in close, is that little chip, which isn't deep. It's just a chip of the paint. Um, but other than that, these are great. Oh, I just saw another one. Okay, so that, kind of makes me sit back. Um, I'm probably going to put this back. Super cute. Oh, darn. Okay, well, I'll let you guys know later if I end up putting these back. But I did find this. This is just some art, an art piece. Um, as you can see, it's loppy. It's kitschy though. I love the little blue flower on it. It's so cute. And shoot for $1.99. That's not bad. It's super cute. I love it. Now I did see this piece. It is modern. But at $2.99 it's really not bad. I mean I wouldn't mind putting that in my kitchen window for a little while. So I'll think on that too. So, so far I got a bunch of maybes. Now I did find this. This piece. I'm loving this throw. Looks like it's in great condition. So pretty. I love the colors on it. Alright, so we'll keep looking. Alright, so I am sitting here. I just found this one. It's all Christmas. I'm not really feeling the Christmas mood today, I guess. Maybe because it's so busy, but I passed that up. Okay, I just came across this piece. It's gilded and this is gold gilding. Made in Japan. This is beautiful. So, as you know, if it has the Made in Japan, it was meant for export. If it doesn't have any markings at all, then it wasn't. Um, it is glazed inside, so it is water safe. Um, I'm, I'm loving it. I think it's beautiful. <laughs> I guess I should look at the price. Oh, $2.99. That's not bad. This. This Goodwill is a little higher than some that I've been to in the past, but I guess you just got to be super picky. I haven't put back those other pieces yet, but I like the pottery. I'm not a fan of the flowers, but I'm liking the pottery. We'll keep looking. Ooh. It looks like a ferret, a glory. No markings on it. That is cute. A little chip on it. So, maybe a no. Oh, this is some pretty class. Gift from them, so that's going to be probably Teleflora. I'm not really seeing anything. Nope. All right. Well, we'll keep looking. I 
got to show you this little milk jug. But it has like this little bee on it. It's so cute. I uh, did just see it. Fooled me for a second. It's really tall, beautiful vase. Of course, always look at the bottom. And it has a Marshall sticker. I mean, when I first saw it, I thought it might be an Empoli, but it's not. Just come across this. How pretty is this? With the etch. No markings. And it definitely should have had a lid. I'm thinking this is Blinko. Very pretty. It has like a mercury sheen over it. It doesn't look like it's flash. It's really pretty. Because right behind it has this mercury top. It's like someone's collection. Again, no marking. But it's $3.99. The flipping. Of course, everything that I get, I flip on eBay. I don't know. I'll think on that one. I'll think on it. Bright, bright glass. My girls would have loved that when they were little. Or at least Jalen would have. She would have loved that. Ooh, what are you? Oh, Kirkland's. That's pretty though. That would make for a really pretty spray arrangement. Real pretty. Wow, you're about to do a wedding. There's a lot of glass up here now. Hand painted bottles. So I'm going to have to walk quite a distance to get to the next area. So, ooh, hold on. Come here, are you? Oh, one chip. Right there. I'm loving that glass, though. This is hand, this is hand warm. You can see the, the pond at the bottom. Very beautiful. I wish it didn't have that chip. So I'm going to say goodbye. You can see, I just put back the Arco. It has the chip. I'm struggling with that. But then, in doing so, I found this beauty. This is gelato. Uh, the comps aren't, you know, terribly awesome, but it's only 99 cents. It is vintage. Brazilian glass art, um, cobalt blue, I love it, which the Gelato Company was very well known for, and I think this little puppy is going in my pretty Vestar empty cart. Okay. I did end up keeping the cute little milk jug that had the little bee on it, it was so cute little ticket tray. I did look at this just a little bit ago when it was super crowded, but they want nine for it, and I guess I can look up the comps on that. I'm not too sure that I, I would be able to make much of a profit on it. It would take a big box to ship it properly in, but that is pretty cute. I don't know, I think this is Mikasa. Oh, here's another one. I'm gonna put these two little guys next to each other. Someone will like that. So they have them at four dollars each. Mikasa. I've seen these bigger, um, so you know these are a little bit shorter. Uh, so it would be really cute to pair these if you have the larger one. This is gonna be at the uh, Conroe Goodwill. These are probably made in. And, oh, there's no mark on it, but I do see sticker residue, so that's a pretty good sign. You can definitely tell the Cap de Bronte from the China, made in China. Cute basket work. Ooh, hello. How did I miss you guys? So this is going to be flash work. 
I don't. This is quite a big set. You know what? I'm going to have to pick these up. Even if I don't decide not to sell them online in my store, these would sell very, very well. So one of the workers here saw that I was picking up all this flashware and yeah, I wish it wasn't flashware, but I mean, goodness, it is a large set and it's very well priced. It's so cute. Um, but check these out. Really cute. And so there's these tall, tall ones, which I'm really liking. And they're different heights. So candlesticks. This one's the, the bulb. And it has... I'm trying to decide if that's a chip or if that's part of the actual part of the glass. These feel pretty good. And then there's this one more. So they're tiered. Really pretty. I think I'm going to put those in my cart and think on these. What do you guys think? If I put them back, you can uh, talk to me in the comments and tell me what a dorky move that was. Oh, little chicken broke his neck. That's so sad. Let's see here. He was telling me that he had some really neat Crown Royal pups out, but they're all gone. Crazy Horse Memorial. Why does that sound familiar? I'm going to have to look that up. Curiosity, guys. Okay, so walking, I just ran across this. Now, it's stamped Made in USA, but it has some heavy weight to it, and it is glazed inside. This actually is really beautiful. Um, take a look at the price. Sorry, I didn't mean to flip y'all like that. $4.99. I think I'm going to put it in here to think about it. I'm, I'm liking this face. That's a really pretty scene. The, the red is, is pretty. It's not a bright red. It's like a orangey apricot, I guess, type red. It is pretty heavy. I'm kind of scared it's going to mess with my flashware here. My cranberry. I'm going to take it home and really take a good look at it and, and make sure that I'm seeing it right. I mean, if it's not flashware, oh, that would be wonderful. But, irregardless, it's a beautiful set. What's the name on it? All right. So, take a look here. Oh, look at these little bunny rabbits. I wonder if they're all the same. Are cute. Not vintage, but they're cute. Aww, pretty. It's got a luster wear finish inside. Pretty. If you, any of y'all are decorating, they got some cute stuff up here. Not a whole heck of a lot. I'm going to pan you around. Ooh. Oh, it has a sticker. Darn it. Of course, I'm trying to remember the company that made this type of pottery. Real earthy, 70s. Oh my goodness, I can't remember. But, such is life. An age. Age in life. This is pretty. Look pretty it's butterfly. Hmm. Oh, I love butterflies. They have it priced at seven though. It is heavy. 
That's a heavy piece of glass. What do you think? Should it go in here so I can think about it? I think it will. I think it will. Check out these plates I just found. Aren't they cute? They're not marked. This is transferware, but that is the prettiest. Prettiest floral design and bright colors. No chips. I'm loving it. Of course, that's my phone going off. Okay, guys, I was just talking about this uh, when my phone started ringing, and I realized this is a snap plate set. It has the little indention where the mug would go. So I am going to look for those mugs. Oh, that would be awesome if they were here. Cross my fingers. Okay, I just talked to the lady about these cute little dishes, a um, lady that works here, to see if she happened to have seen the little cups that go with these. Now, isn't that an adorable set? I'm just in love with it. There's no markings on the back. So I'm going to keep them and maybe, just maybe, I'll find the, the cups crossing my fingers, guys. I'm so excited. It's kind of toned down in here. It's not terribly busy like it had been, so I'm excited about that. Y'all can hear me probably a little better crossing my fingers on that. And thank you guys so far for being with me today. I'm excited we are only halfway done here, so hopefully we'll find some more good stuff. Okay, back to looking. We got an odd aisle now. It's mainly like Christmas and stuff. Not exactly what I'm looking for right now. This particular Goodwill has all their glassware on top. Okay, so I did a kind of room look at the prints, and this is cute. It is cute. Okay, so I'm going to put a good job on it. I don't really see anything else. Out of curiosity, I'm gonna have to look that artist up. Oh, with the curiosity, guys. <laughs> I have to know. This canvas is pretty. I'm liking that. I like that. Think about it. Think about it. Cute little Winnie the Pooh behind it. Okay, so just a minute ago, I was talking about this painting, um, and it is by Emily Sanita. Now I just looked up Emily Sanita, and there is an Emily Sanita that's famous for her applique sewing quilting about the same era so I'm wondering if the two are related this certainly is beautiful if y'all happen to know let me know I'm on the fence about whether or not to get it and then I wish they didn't put that sticker right in the middle of the art uh, I don't know I don't know what should I do Okay, well, I've decided to put back the Sanuda, and then I had also come across this beautiful painting. Check that out. Oh, I just hate walking away from these, but I didn't find anything on them. And of course, I'm not in the, in the business of just collecting. I'm, in a, I'm, in a, I'm a hoarder already, so. The prices are that if they weren't really worth anything, I couldn't make much on it, so, okay. Well, 
If I find that they are worth something later or y'all tell me, I'm going to be kicking myself in the butt. But otherwise, they're up here at the Conroe Goodwill off uh, 105. Looking at albums, someone is a huge Pat Boone collector, or was. But I have to go back and show y'all this because it, it just simply cracked me up. And I know... I just didn't think about like before yes. yeah, yeah. VHS and so forth. That's hilarious. I can't wait really to dance 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 dance. Dance. By LP. There you go. I'm gonna go over here and see what they have in the cases. That one. Pretty empty. This guy is cool. Kinda looks like an art piece. There's no more things on the bottom, but he, he's pretty cool, honestly. Not $14.99 now for him. I don't know. I don't know. I think that might be a little too high for me to sell and make anything off of. Otherwise, it's pretty empty back here. I'm going to go in for the cups to the snack plate that I found. Otherwise, I think I'm just about done here, guys. Okay, I'm finding things that should go together and they're not. OCD Colette is kicking in. Totally putting these together. <laughs> Ooh, and as I do that, hmm, this is really heavy. This is crystal. Most definitely. Kind of reminds me of the piece I just picked up. Let me pick that up. Of course, this had the etched butterflies on it. This is crystal. I'm shaking it to decide. It's gonna help me you now. Laying it out. I got it for five. No chips. This sticker is in beautiful condition. Not signed. I like my butterfly one though. Definitely keeping that even though it is seven. Keeping it, keeping it. So there's a few pieces in here. Still deciding on. I haven't decided on yet. Still love that piece. I want to find the cups to these. Oh. Should I? Should I? Five dollars. Yeah. In my store, I have actually quite a bit of crystal. And I know things sell and then don't sell. There's up and down markets for everything. Okay, these three little guys all go together. I know they are complete. I'm happy about that. Happy about that. And so, right in my other side, I'm leaving, I see this set. This is. Hold. This is by you. This is Iron Stone, Double Phoenix, um, Moon Tree. It is transferware, but oh my goodness, it's beautiful. I just look at the comps on it. I mean, it's not incredibly high. Uh, I would make some money on it, but. I hate being on the fence on things. It's not a complete set, obviously, but there are several pieces. It is cute. And I was leaving, so I don't have time to mull it over. Um, okay. Gosh darn it. <laughs> I am not good at making fast decisions at all. But on the lighter side, I'm going to show you this little guy. Now, isn't she cute? 
obviously not vintage or anything, but just so adorable, a little piggy bank. I think I'm going to pick that up just because she's so darn cute. Okay, so um, just finished up over at Goodwill. I was pretty happy with today. I spent $99, um, but my markup margin is four times that, if not a little bit more. Um, I'm pretty happy about it overall. I think pretty much everything I'm going to be able to put just straight on eBay and uh, may decide to put a, put a couple pieces into the store. I'm not really sure yet. The plates I am super stoked about. The Ironstone. Um, their comps were pretty reasonable and uh, I'm thinking I might just sell it piece by piece unless someone wants to take it all, you know, at the, you know, pay for, for all of it. The shipping is mainly the reason why I'm thinking about selling it piece by piece because that will uh, be some crazy shipping. Um, my shipping guy might kind of flip out on me a little bit. Um, but I had fun today. I hope y'all did too. I really had wanted to go to a second place today, um, but I just kind of, I think, I had a lot of good luck and had a lot of fun and I hope y'all did too and any suggestions any comments if you saw something I passed up or corrections just leave me a comment I always want to know love learning I'm pretty sure that's why you are watching this as also and um, and thank you thank you very much I'll talk to y'all later bye bye